Thank you for tuning in to Terry's Swoop Videos. On today's video, I'm gonna do a Where They Now on the fashion model and actress, Merlin Clark. Now she's mostly known for being Lamont's girlfriend in Sanford and Son, but she also played in numerous movies and TV shows throughout the 1970s. She was married to Billy D. Williams in the late 1960s and they divorced in the early 1970s. Now she was married to Billy D. Williams before he became a star. She was with him before he became a leading man in Hollywood. He became famous in 1972 when he played in Lady Sings the Blues. When he appeared in Lady Sings the Blues, that's what made Billy D. Williams a bona fide star and leading man in Hollywood. In 1972, Merlin played in this horror movie called Night of the Cobra Woman. She plays the villain in the movie and she looks very exotic and beautiful in this movie. I thought this movie showed off her range as an actress, showing that she can play a villain, she can play the good person, she can play any type of role. In 1973, she starred in the movie Ganja and His. Now this is her most famous movie. She plays this demonic woman who's possessed and it's similar to her role in Night of the Cobra Woman. Then in 1975, she lands the role on Sanford and Son. Now in the 1970s, Sanford and Son was the most highest rated black show on the air. It got 27 million views per episode. It was the second highest rated show in the country. Only All in the Family got more viewership than Sanford and Son got. To put this in perspective, the only show in the history of television to get more than 27 million views per episode was The Cosby Show in the 1980s. The Cosby Show averaged about 30 million per episode. But Sanford Son, it really set the mark for black TV shows and sitcoms. Merlin was on the last two seasons of Sanford and Son. The only reason Sanford and Son went off the air after the sixth season is because Red Fox wanted more money. He was getting paid 20,000 per episode and he wanted the same amount of money that Carol O'Connor was getting in All in the Family. Carol O'Connor was getting 150,000 per episode and Red Fox wanted the same amount of money that he was making, but the network refused to pay him the same amount of money. So he ended up quitting the show and that's why Sanford and Son went off the air in 1977. After Sanford and Son went off the air, Merlin got back into fashion modeling. She appeared in Jet Magazine. She appeared in Ebony Magazine. She was one of the most popular black models of the late 1970s, early 80s. She always had an exotic Amazon look. This woman was beautiful. She was gorgeous when she was young. Today, she's 69 years old. She retired from acting many years ago. She lives a private life. She never got remarried after her divorce from Billy D. Williams. A lot of people have different opinions about this topic. Leave a comment, rate and subscribe.